When air and gas are combined in an engine cylinders, the term compression is used. The car must go through this process in order to move and operate. You should prepare for a wide range of car issues if there are any issues with the compression process. If you attempt to start the engine and experience a misfire, you have a low compression issue, which will be obvious. Either that, or the engine won't perform well while you're moving the car along the road. The worst case scenario is that none of the cylinders have compression, in which case the car won't start. In general, if one of your cylinders has low compression, the engine will start, but you'll probably experience misfires and your car will probably run rough. Your engine won't turn over if there is no compression in any or all of the cylinders. There are numerous reasons why a car engine could have low compression. And in this video we will discuss the most frequent causes of low compression. It's the Car Problems YouTube channel. Subscribe and let's get started. Leaky Valves Both the intake and exhaust valves are located at the top of each cylinder. The intake valve receives fuel and air to start the combustion process. The exhaust valve lets the gases that result from this escape. These valves may begin to prematurely leak gas if they become overheated. When this occurs, your compression is low. More frequently, as the valve seals age, they can become warm, allowing gases to escape and lowering cylinder compression as a result. Worn Timing Belt Every engine has a timing belt or chain that links the crankshaft and camshaft together. The camshaft would be unable to turn if the timing belt were to become damaged or broken. This indicates that it is unable to properly open or close the intake or exhaust valve. As a result, the cylinder's combustion will be destroyed and no gases will be able to escape. As a result, your compression is low. Holes in Piston You probably already know that an engine's cylinders contain pistons. These pistons are usually constructed of an aluminum alloy and are designed to withstand the force of combustion. However, hot spots will land on the piston if the engine is overheating. These spots will eventually burn holes straight through the piston. When that occurs, gases will leak through these holes, resulting in low compression. Head Gasket Failure The connection between the top of the engine and the cylinder head is sealed by a gasket. A tiny hole will be left between the cylinder and its head if the head gasket malfunction and begins to break for some reason. The gases in the cylinder leak out of the gasket hole in this situation, which is known as a blown head gasket. You'll then experience low compression and subpar performance. A compression leak may occur in both cylinders if the head gasket fails between two of them. Bad Piston Rings The piston's rings may break or suffer other damage as a result of overheating. Because the rings can no longer keep the carbon gases inside the cylinder, they will start to leak through. As you are probably already aware, this kind of leak leads to low compression. How to fix low compression Utilizing a compression gauge, you must first check to see if your engine actually has low compression. Make sure you have 45 minutes free because this process typically takes this period of time. If you don't already have one, you can either buy one or take your car to a mechanic to have them check the compression for you. The next step is to check the cylinders, piston, valve, and gasket to see if any of them are damaged or broken if they discover low compression. You can then replace whatever is broken. However, since the engine needs to be removed, this will be a time-consuming and expensive task. Prepare yourself for that. 